I pretty much get a baseball every time I go to a game. I had a consecutive games streak where I got at least one ball every game that lasted more than 25 years. 1,523 was the final number. What is up, everybody? This is Zach Hample coming to you from just outside Fenway Park in Boston, outside of Salem Field in Buffalo, New York. Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. City Field in New York. I've snagged more baseballs in the stands at Major League Stadiums than anyone ever, including Alex Rodriguez's 3,000th hit. Baseball and people are probably two of my biggest passions in life. Everything that I do is about helping people do this as well. I love to educate people. I want other people to connect with baseball and see how much fun it is. My name is Zach Hample. I've caught over 11,000 baseballs at Major League Games, and this is my hustle. New York Yankee slugger Alex Rodriguez makes his 3,000th hit. Watch as the fans at Yankee Stadium scramble for the ball. It's a huge prize that could fetch more than $50,000. And you'll never believe who snagged it. It's the guy who literally wrote the book on catching baseballs. The baseball itself is a magical item. It's the object at the center of the national pastime. When that ball flies up in the air, the TV cameras are on it, 50,000 fans in the stadium are staring at it, and everybody wants that baseball, whether it's a fielder hoping to catch it to record an out, or fans hoping to catch it to take home part of the game. The coolest thing about catching a baseball is not the ball itself, but the experience. So I gave A-Rod's 3,000th hit baseball to him. Did a press conference with him at Yankee Stadium. I mean, how cool is that? You can't buy that experience. When I was about four or five years old and watched Major League Baseball on TV for the first time, I noticed fans catching baseballs, cameras zoom in on them, and they would celebrate like it was the best thing that ever happened to them. And that left some kind of impression on me and I needed to experience that. I didn't just want to, it had to happen. And it took me many years to figure it out, but eventually it started coming together for me. When I was 14, that was really my first big season of going to a ton of games. I went to like 80 games that year. Living in New York City, you have Shea and Yankee Stadium. Easy subway ride to both, so that's when it took off for me. Fan and author Zach Hample is here with us this morning. Zach Hample. Zach Hample. Zach Hample. Zach Hample has snagged 3,763 balls from 44 different major league ballparks. This is where I keep the majority of my commemorative baseballs, which I'm really proud of. This is one of the favorite parts of my collection. So many cool ones just in this drawer, and there are many drawers. One of my favorites is the pink Mother's Day ball with the pink stitching. I got one from the opening series in Japan in 2012. And way tucked in the back, we have the opening series in Sydney, Australia from 2014. San Juan series in 2010, that's John Carlos Stanton's second career home run back when he was known as Mike Stanton. Again, another whole drawer of commemorative baseballs on top. I love this one so much. This was the Derek Jeter commemorative ball that was used at Yankee Stadium maybe the last couple weeks of his career. I'd have to do the math, but I, I would think that my collection would be worth six figures just based on what I still have. I've given away thousands of baseballs and I've given away the two most valuable baseballs that I ever caught. Mike Trout's first career home run and A-Rod's 3,000th hit. I keep very detailed lists on my laptop, on my website for everyone to see. And I just add to various numbers and lists every time I get home from a game, which can take anywhere from about 10 minutes to sometimes an hour if I catch lots of baseballs in interesting ways and I'm typing up notes to go with it. Every ball is represented on its own line. So I start with what number baseball it is in my collection, and then the date, the stadium, the location within the stadium, you know, like right field foul line versus third base dugout versus left center field bleachers. Then what time of day I got it, or if it's a game ball, I'll put top of the sixth inning, two outs, you know, two one pitch thrown by this guy, hit by so-and-so, caught on the fly, you know, or I scampered down some stairs and picked it up under a seat. As many details as I can put in, you know, just constantly adding to it, and I keep this backed up on hard drives. It's also on my website, zachhample.com. 
people don't realize how busy I am. A lot of people have this assumption that I don't work. Yes, I do go to baseball games for a living, but I edit video for a living. And I think about filming and camera angles and talking points and B-roll, and it's hard to just sit there and watch a baseball game and chill. Like That's when I am on and focusing and everything has to be perfect. My best friends know that when opening day rolls around, it's sort of like, well, see you later, guys. Have a good six or seven months and uh, catch you in November, you know? It's so fun and I love it. Like, I, I go to baseball games and I make videos. That's what I do. But there is so much stuff behind the scenes involved and it really is a grind. It really is a hustle. And this is where I store most of my baseballs. It is officially insane. Thousands and thousands of baseballs. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it just makes me happy to know that I have these. And I'm hanging on to them for now, just like millions of collectors out there in the world have stuff that just makes them happy. I happen to have a ridiculous amount of this one object. I do have some of my favorite baseballs here, some big time home runs and some other interesting things. This was really the first big home run that I caught. This kind of put me on the map as someone who didn't just get foul balls and toss ups, but could make a big time catch. This was Barry Bonds' 724th career home run. Caught this in San Diego when the Giants were visiting there in 2006. A couple of years after that, I caught another big one. It was the last home run that the Mets ever hit at Shea Stadium, which was their old ballpark. So you can see it right here. This baseball is the most happy and excited I've ever been catching any ball, including A-Rod's 3,000 foot. With the A-Rod, I was more stunned than anything. This one was just pure jubilation. Easily 100 people can, can get a ball in a game. And then you think about how many games there are and teams and seasons, like many people out there have caught baseballs and many people out there want to be YouTubers, but I've found a way to do that full time. So that to me is a successful hustle. When I think about where I started just being any other kid obsessed with baseball and then ending up being this guy who makes videos full time at stadiums and catching baseballs. My advice to people is find some unique angle and then be very good at it. Try to be the best at it. If you're doing something that everybody else does, you're not gonna stand out. So for me, I have this weird claim to fame of catching the most baseballs at Major League Stadiums than anyone. Game home run balls are definitely my priority. I have 73 lifetime, hoping to get to 100, and I will, it's just a matter of how long it takes. The YouTube thing has been insane for me over the past few years. It keeps getting bigger and bigger, and it just all feels great, and I love sharing what I do with so many people. For me, that's the driving force at this point, is really the effect that it has on other people, but I am still a little kid at heart. I'm still a collector. Even if I just get a toss-up before the game or catch a batting practice home run, I still get excited and it still makes me happy. It's just the experience of catching them really that, that still excites me after all these years. Thanks for watching my episode of My Hustle. Search my name, guys. You'll find me anywhere, Zach Hample. And make sure to subscribe to us all.